What is going on guys welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you this simple farm guide for this week's Nightfall the Tree of Probabilities and the exclusive weapon which is nothing other than the DFA arguably the best exclusive weapon these Nightfalls offer in the game at the moment. But before we get into that guys, to be with a chance of winning my monthly controller giveaway, simply drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. More details will follow at the end of the video. Okay, so this is for either a two-man or three-man team who want to go about their time grinding this amazing hand cannon of DFA. Now this requires four things to work, a warlock with the lunification boots with their empowering roof selected and a fully auto shotgun. The Icarus SG works best for sure but other shotguns like the Perfect Paradox are great. In fact most full auto shotguns will do just fine here. And that's basically it, other subclasses and characters are fine whatever is being used. Now the shotguns I would say make sure they are void as it's void singe I feel is definitely the best to use for this strike. Now onto the actual Nightfall card. You want to, like I said, use that Void Singe. I say this because the strike contains all enemies using all three burns, but in my opinion Void is the least used and the least prolific in the strike. Arc and Solar are used throughout the strike. Most of the Kabbalah enemies use Arc weapons and they just destroy. Solar is used a lot too. The Scions will one-shot you, their snipers, and those end lasers will just melt you. Plus we also know within this strike there are three instances to the final battle with the boss. Here you will kill him within the first instance in about 5 or 10 seconds but it does tend to slam the floor sometimes which I believe deals arc damage and has a tendency of one hitting you to your doom. So void is definitely the best thing to use for this one in my opinion. Also you want to make sure you are using heavyweight, power ammo is a must as you well know. Another mod to use is momentum. Now a lot of people are wondering why would such a mod be useful? Well, you want to farm these nightfalls as fast as possible. Running through that infinite forest is a way to make it fly by and use momentum really helps your case here doing this because the amount of enemies that are just trying to take your face off and you're running a lot trying to avoid this, momentum really does work well here. Okay, so once you are all set, Warlock, Lunification Boots, Empowering Rift, Shotguns, Void Singe, Heavyweight and Momentum, run through it until you get to the first instance of the boss encounter where he flattens that big bad Vex dude. Here kill the adds. The Vex dude will then spawn in. Here you want to put your rift just in front of these rocks right here. As this is where you will stand and kill the boss. Plus when he slams in, you have something behind you so you won't go flying. So as soon as the boss lands and you are ready within that rift, give it a few seconds and then just pummel him with your shotguns. I ran it a few times tonight, most of it in a duo team, but I also ran it in a three man team too. A couple of times as you will see, he slams and kills my teammates while I still finish him off with my shotty. I do believe this probably could work doing it solo on a Warlock with that Empowering Rift and the Lunification Boots. I just ain't certain you will have enough time before he goes immune. I mean if you want to try it out and you manage to do it, let me know down below in that comments section people. But yeah it really is as simple as this, in my opinion the fastest way in farming the DFA and killing that boss in seconds. Shotguns, Warlock, Empowering Rift and them Lunification Boots. Drop the Rift by the rock, as soon as he lands in and flattens that Vex dude, pummel him with your shotgun, he won't even have time to think. Now after you do kill him you will have to run through to the final room, killing a few enemies on your way but nothing hard at all and the reason you have to run through to the final room is to collect that chest and that also oh beautiful loot people. But guys, on that note, I am out. If this helps you out, be sure to drop a like on the video as it really does help me out and I do appreciate the support. Also, before we go, every single month, people, I'm giving away a fully customizable controller for either Xbox or PlayStation sent anywhere in the world. To be in with a chance of winning it, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and have that bell button ticked. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below and follow the Gleam link linked at the top of the video description. Fast, simple and legit guys but on that note I am out and hopefully I will see you on that next one